I'm here with Sarah Newman from Hot Off The Press, and well, you're gonna show us some cool ways to color really easily, right? Yes, we're gonna be coloring inside the lines today, Julie, okay. and not only that, but coloring on top of the lines, too. Oh, I like that. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna be starting right with this card, yes. which is stunning. The detail Isn't on here, I just have to touch everything, and it's like raised and mm -hmm. shiny and just absolutely beautiful. Right, and I love the crisp black silhouette here mm -hmm. combined with that bright pink. And the orange pattern paper, I have to say, really sets the whole thing off. Yeah. So super easy to do. Okay. Let me show you. I'm going to start with some outline stickers. And this is going to be my shortcut for this. So let me just pull up my sheet here. And I'm going to pull off one of these cute little cupcakes. OK. And I always find for some of these little stickers, I like to use like a pair of tweezers or something. Or you even can a do that. To sort of get it started, you, you know? You can do that, definitely. And the cool thing about these two, Julie, is you sometimes you look at something like this and you think it's very detail oriented. You have to be mm -hmm. very careful with it, but it's really not. It's actually very sturdy materials. Just tap it down cool. and it is on the you know paper. What? It, to me, it kind of looks like what you do with heat embossing with like embossing powder and exactly. stuff. Exactly, exactly. It's a nice shortcut for that. And I've got a big cupcake okay, trio on away. here. And you can see all of that beautiful detail work on here. Now it looks lovely the way it is, mm -hmm. and I could leave it exactly like this, but I wanna add a little bit of color to my frosting. So I'm going to take a pen and just start coloring. I'm guessing in. this is the coloring within the line. Exactly, and you know, because that sticker is raised mm -hmm. and it's got some dimension, it means that it's holding in my ink color. Because is there anything special about this pen? Well, it's super, super juicy. Mm -hmm. And that's the really cool thing about it. It's got a beautiful glazy light color, so my glazed frosting is going to look just edible. But so it's, that's why you need like the raised edge to hold the ink exactly. in. Exactly. Because it's wet. Exactly. And even if I do, you know, the, the sticker is really guiding my pen along here. But even if I do slip and go over, mm -hmm. I'll just take a tissue and dab it off. That's not a problem. Oh, because at of course all. it's a slick surface because yes. it's a sticker and you can just wipe it right off. Exactly. I, I love things that are easy to fix and you don't have yes. to worry about. Foolproof, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I would just need to let mm -hmm. this dry and I would let it dry, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Kind of depends on where you live and right. how big your surface is that you're coloring. Now, once I let this dry, I can let it be, or I can come back with another color and float a second color on top of the first and oh. get some real color and dimension, which would be that's very really cool. That's really cool. So that's how, when I look at this finished piece, I can see this exactly. is very dimensional. The colors are so deep and interesting, and you feel that real mix, and that's from layering. Yes. But what, yes. If, you, what if you don't actually let it dry? Well, that's a good question, because then you can get an effect something similar to this. And that's what's happened on this card. And you can see that beautiful autumn leaf has been colored with not only orange, but also a little bit of green. Now we've worked on white glossy cardstock for this one. And you do need to work pretty quickly when you're doing it because the ink will dry fairly quickly on that paper. So work in sections, a little bit of orange, a little bit of green, and just keep repeating throughout all of your beautiful leaves and you can let those colors blend. And so melt. it's the ink and the pen is actually floating and flowing yes, together. Exactly. That's so cool. Exactly. But you are not done yet. I'm not. Because you brought got more, more things for us. And so we're going to be making a card that's similar to this one, right. which I can see is shiny because this is on acetate or like this yes. little Christmas ornament here. So you've got a sheet of acetate here right. with another sticker. Right. I've already what put are we gonna this do? down. Well, I'm going to go ahead and color in the lines again for this one. And this will give you the effect of stained glass. Okay. So all you need to do is just get that ink flowing. Sometimes I find if I start on a piece of paper, sometimes these pens need a little bit to get a going. A little bit of motivation. Then, there you there go. we go. Oh, excellent <laughs> tip. Thank Everybody you. needs a bit of motivation Every to get going, right? <laughs> I needed some this morning myself. I know. When my alarm went off, I was very scared. So there you go. Right. So here we go. I'm just going to color in the open areas of this I love how it just cup. flows right across the acetate. You don't mm -hmm. have to think about it. You're just filling in the space. And exactly. could you do that same layering idea with this? Yes, absolutely. Again, you would just need to let it dry. And then you can come back and, you know, adapt however you want those colors Is to go. Is that what we've done here? I noticed there are two colors inside this flower there's two greens yes and is that the same floating technique that is where it just same. sort of flows absolutely same floating technique now the thing that you want to keep in mind when you're working on a slick surface like the acetate is that the ink can run just like we talked mm -hmm. about so you want to make sure that you're working on a flat surface 
And when you set this aside to dry, you want to make sure that it's also sitting on a flat surface. That way you won't get any unexpected. An unexpected tidal wave exactly, coming over of exactly. ink. Exactly, but look at this, Julie. All immediately you've fast got- fast and beautiful. A stained glass effect, mm -hmm. or one, as you mentioned earlier, about doing some heat embossing. Well, you wouldn't want to do that on acetate. No. So you can get a nice Here's a great alternative, way. and exactly. I'm gonna pass you this. Okay. Here's another really fun technique, and we talked about coloring on the lines. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going because to- Because we're making this, which I noticed you're starting with silver, mm -hmm. but this is not silver. Exactly, that's because I've colored it to the color that I want it to be. So I'm just gonna leave my um, stickers on the sheet and take a permanent marker and just scribble this on. You can notice how, how finely detailed I am with this, Julie. I know, it's I love it, you just kind of slap on. it on. And I also love the idea of, you know, you don't have to buy stickers in every single color. No. You can buy a couple. And the thing that's neat too is it's still shiny and metallic. Exactly. You know, even though you're coloring it with a non-metallic pen because the silver is coming right through. Exactly, so once I've colored that with purple, I can also come back with another color and just add something else on top here if I wanted to get a little bit of blue in the center there. Is there anything on. special about the marker you're using? Is there anything we need to know? Um, these are a permanent type of marker so that you can also <laughs> use them for double duty for labeling your CDs or anything oh, else. That's nice. So really because obviously handy. not coming off on my fingers and exactly. here's the finished one, here's which looks exactly one. like the one on this mm -hmm. card. And you'll notice on here we've also colored, again, the inside of this section here and then as well these little butterflies and even some words. So you can really adapt things to how you there want them. There are so many great tips. This was fantastic. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you so you. much.